Well, I left old Marcy going back to Memphis, Tennessee. And I left old Marcy on my way back to Memphis, Tennessee. And then they say life goes on and you shouldn't bow down to these. You shouldn't change your lifestyle because of, uh, of, of these nutters. Um, but I just think within the week, Al, hundreds of thousands of people just, you know, at that one particular time, you've just got to err on the side of caution. And I think for this, just for this week, it's the right thing to do. Maybe like the week after or two weeks down the line or a mm. special parade for the cup winners or something. Changing of the guard has been uh, cancelled as well. So... How do you feel about... Um, it is a sensitive time. Just uh, very briefly, how do you feel about our police officers? I know some don't want to, but should they all be armed now? That's I think they should. a great point, because in, in they America, they're, they're armed all, I uh, think they at all times and all costs. And, yeah, I wouldn't have any problem with it all. I wouldn't mm. have any problem. I think still, I still think gun crime is a lot lower here's, compared here's, to here's, America here's, as well. Here's one for you. You know, so, uh, you know, I said it the other day. I buried my mum a couple of days ago. And on the way to the funeral, we hear this, so there's a big, big roundabout, and people will know who are from Ipswich and Colchester, the Tesco roundabout, the yeah. big roundabout you come in. Yeah. I've gone round the roundabout, so I've got me and the wife, my brother and his wife in the back. There's a, a, a copper on a bike, oh, you know, looking, watching the traffic. For I know, within two minutes, he's pulling me over, right? He's pulled me over, and I, I put the window down, and I went, can I help you? And he just glared at me and went straight to the back, opened the door, and said to my brother, um, do you drive? He went, yeah, yeah, why? He said, uh, why, is, why is your seatbelt not on? Right? And I looked, I'll be honest with you, Quinny, I didn't know. You, you, you must be law now, you have to in the back. In the back as well as the front, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then he went, oh, you look, you're dressed for a funeral? He said, yeah, I've been in a mum. And he went, oh, it's been a bad day last night. And he started rambling. I thought, what is this guy? Yeah. It was really weird, weird, weird why he pulled us over. And I don't think he could have seen my brother where he was without his belt on. So I don't know what he was up to, or whether mm. it was me. Or whether he was checking things. Or... Yeah, really, really, really weird. And, um, God, and he said, on your way, I won't give you a ticket. And I, I, I was really bemused, I thought. Saying that, I didn't realise it's against the law. Yeah. Didn't know. Yeah, but we've got some look massive sporting events coming up. Mm -hmm. We mentioned the... Chris Kill being on alert and, and so on. The FA Cup final being won, you know, hopefully everything will go fine. Um, and the game itself, you know, we'll talk, be talking about the football side of it, but um, I can't see. Can you see Arsenal getting a result? Um, you know, in all respect to them that they're there and in a way, it is a one-off game, 120 yeah, minutes. In a way, I've sort of, I've been deflected about thinking of the cup final because of what's happened. You know, last night, yeah, I watched it. Um, the cup final, will I watch it? Um, I'm, I'm well, Scottish and, Cup finals on the weekend. Yeah, well, as I'm, well. I'm in Monaco, so yeah. we will have it on, you know. But I don't know. I just... Well, I left old Marcy going back to Memphis, Tennessee. And I left old Marcy on my way back to Memphis, Tennessee. No sooner I got at the bus station, Lord, the police arrest for me. 